Welcome back guys to another weekend news update. I'm Phil. I'm Kevin. Uh, a man was arrested uh, after he uh, became irate over his haircut. But apparently he did not like his haircut. Uh, I like my haircut. Well that's good. Uh, he also became more enraged after he was told that it was going to cost him $50. 50 $50. For a haircut that he didn't even like. $50. For a haircut he didn't like. I'm enraged for him. $50 for a haircut? All right. So he apparently he became um, hostile towards customers and employees, um, and then kicked a hole in the wall, and flipped over a candle display, and then left. That'll teach him. Yeah. No more candles being sold today. Uh, he then returned to the store and demanded that his hair get fixed. Uh, the salon refused. Uh, uh, he was later arrested in his home for breach of peace and criminal mischief. I just like to imagine that they broke in and he's just sitting in the bathroom on the floor. <laughs> that be crazy. That's what I like to imagine. That's probably what it was. Probably. Alright, Phil, I don't want any pussy jokes. I can't promise anything. I'm going to need to try your best. Okay. Alright. So this past weekend was the Glasgow Film Festival and a part of that was the Internet Cat Video Festival. Internet Cat Video Festival? Yeah. I'm sad we didn't go. I have a little bit too. Yeah. So this was the first one, uh, and hundreds of people showed up, and actually took place in the Modern Art Museum. Modern Art? Yes. Very, yeah. very fancy. I remember when yeah. museums used to be boring. Yeah, now you got cat videos. Cat videos everywhere. Uh, these videos uh, included archived footage of cats dating back to 1901. So, so some, some real old cats. 1901? Yes, no jokes. No jokes. Real old pussies. Ah, almost. <laughs> uh, so this also featured a program made by Will Braden, uh, who was very popular with the Henri Le Chat Noir videos, and he actually won the first ever Golden Kitty Award. Golden Kitty Award. I, yeah, go make the jokes, Phil. Nope. No? Nope. Oh, now you're good. Nope. I refuse. All right. So this is uh, very interesting uh, to see something as popular yet obscure as cat videos make it into mainstream uh, film festivals. It's just uh, crossing streams now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next year we'll go. We'll let you guys know how it was. Yeah. Definitely. So good news. Ah. For the first time since 1998, the sex ed curriculum for Ontario is being updated. So apparently sex has changed. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it, some of the things they're going over are going to be the benefits and uh, dangers with online activity, which is going to start in grade one. That seems a little, a little early to me, but yeah. I don't know, I, my son's in grade one, so we're going to learn all about that. Cool. That's something to be excited for. Uh, and sexting, which they're going to start learning about in grade four. Yeah, I mean, why not? They might as well be sexting earlier and earlier. Yeah, you know, might as well. I don't even know how old you are in grade four, but that seems way too young. Yeah. Do kids even eat phones at that age? Well, they don't eat anything at that age, really. Food. Yep, food. Shelter. School. Sexting lessons. Sexting lessons, which they're getting in grade four. Okay. Yeah. So another thing they're going to include is info on oral and anal sex in grade seven. That's good. Now, I only learned about anal sex last week. Yeah, yeah, that was just a really big poop. No, now I'm confused again. Oh. I'll Google it later. Yeah, we'll talk, but, we'll talk about it later. What's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah. You're going to really find out what the internet's about. Not just cat videos? Nope, not just cat videos. Dang. Yeah. Uh, another interesting thing, they're going to actually start teaching about homosexuality and uh, same-sex marriage uh, in grade three. So we're really starting to get those talks in earlier, which... To be fair, I don't think that was mentioned once in my school at all. Nope, I don't think it was either. No. Yeah. I learned everything I know about uh, homosexuality from Will and Grace. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so it's really interesting that they're uh, finally going over some of this stuff. Uh, it, it actually, this was actually introduced in 2010, um, but a bunch of religious groups got involved and they got pushed back. Um, but they're actually finally releasing it this year, which is good to see. Alright guys, so don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment below with the craziest thing that you were taught in sex ed class. Uh, I guess, feel free to be as thorough as you want, but I'm, I don't read things that are What do you build those? 
Were you actually talking about wooden dildos? No, they had a wooden dildo and put the condom on. Oh, I didn't get that. Nope. Wooden dildos. Wooden dildos. <laughs>